hi everyone in this video i am going to show you how to use google docs which is an online word processing software google docs is similar to microsoft word however it is an online tool you don't need to install it in your computer and the cool thing about google docs is more than one person can work in the same document simultaneously from different computers this tool is quite useful for students and professionals especially if you are doing a teamwork so without further ado, let's see how to use it. Okay, to start using Google Docs, you can go to Google Drive. Google Drive. And uh, you have to sign in to the Google Drive. Uh, I already have signed in uh, but you might need to put your Gmail address and password to log into the uh, my drive uh, and from here you can go to new and Google Docs then if you click on this arrow then you will see blank document or template you can select either according to your needs I am selecting blank document and uh, this will create a Microsoft Docs which is similar to Microsoft Word where you can edit some text or you can format your writing and this is one way to generate the Google Docs another way if you have never used Google Drive another way is to go to your Gmail in Gmail you can see Google Apps from there you can select drive this is the another way to go to google drive i am just showing this because uh, some of you might not have used google drive at all so uh, to make you easy uh, i am showing where you can find google drive so after you come to google drive the same way is go to new google docs and blank document in this way you have created a uh, Google Docs document now let's give some title I will write example document so it is now saving and you don't need to do control s or you don't need to go to file and do save it saves automatically it is an online tool so you don't have to worry about saving or losing the data so there are different uh, options here which are quite similar to Microsoft Word but uh, they, uh, Microsoft Word they have uh, a lot more functions than this one uh, but still you will have sufficient tools for formatting, uh, formatting your writings. So once you created this document you can write anything you want. Uh, I am writing some text let us suppose something I can write anything here this way so and you can format this text as you like so there is option to change the font you can change the font you can increase decrease the font size similarly <coughs> there is option for making it bold italics or underlined uh, these are the different uh, facilities provided in the Google Docs. The main thing I want to show you here is there is an option to share this document. So if you click on share and you can add people on this document. You can add your friend or teammates uh, to this document. You can send the invitation. Or another uh, another way to share this document is to copy the link and uh, and you send this link to to your friend so in this way once you have sent uh, once you have shared this document you and your friend can work in this document at the same time let's see how it works share this document with my teammate now um uh, i can work here in this document and uh, whatever i edit here the same thing will be edited in my teammates uh, 
google google docs as well let's see so this is my uh, document in my end in my computer and i'm going to open a new window where i will be logging in through the different id uh, where i have sent this document so let me just log into other id and let us say this is your friend's computer this is your computer so let me make it more clear so this is your friend's computer after you have sent the invitation your friend will get an email about the invitation to edit when your friend go to the email and open in docs the similar page will open for him as well so I'm sorry this is me let me change it so the same page will open for your friend as well you can see on the top there are two persons that can edit this document and if you share with many uh, more friends uh, everyone can be able to edit on this now let me edit on my end okay this is me editing the docs so so here i have written this thing and same thing is shown in your friends uh, document as well and if your friend added something here like this is more i am adding so here it is added so this person is writing you can get the uh, hint of which, who, who is editing the document and all the editing all the updating of the document can be saved so more than one person here uh, two persons are working in the same document more than one person any number of people can work in the same document and you can finalize your uh, team report in this in this way also there are, there are so many other options that can be useful for you for example if you want to highlight this there is an highlight color option you can choose your preferred color and you can highlight this similarly you can uh, unhighlight this by doing none and uh, there are other tools which you can do to format your text for example there is an uh, alignment central alignment right left alignment anything you can do or you can uh, justify your content you can increase or decrease the uh, line gap similarly you can insert the uh, numbers or you can insert the bullet points so these are different options available which are quite similar to microsoft word and uh, in this way you can use google docs for making your report making the combined report or the teamwork you can do in this uh, tool which is great for students and professionals so after you have created the google docs and do the editing that you want uh, and uh, if you want to close it you don't need to worry about saving the document you can directly close it and in the near future or next time if you want to go to that document you have to go to google drive in the google drive you have to sign in there after you sign in the google drive you can find the document in your files so this example document was the document we have created and we have shared with the friends if you want to edit next time you can double click here and this document will open and you can do more editing here so after you are done with your report or with your essay and if you want to finally uh, finalize it or submit it somewhere and uh, you want to download it you can go to file and there is the download option you can download it as a microsoft word document and if you do it you can save uh, to the preferred location example document and you can save it you can download it and once it is downloaded you can find it uh, to the folder where you have downloaded so this was the document that you edited in google docs and finally downloaded as a old document and you can use this document wherever you want 
Thank you so much for watching the entire video. If you find this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also, to get more tips like this, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.